Hi there, today I wanna to tell you just how easy it is to use the Scoutify sourcing app when you are trying to get approved to sell restricted brands on Amazon. Now, a lot of people know that sometimes it can be really frustrating. You are outsourcing for inventory, you come across an item, you're like, oh, it's profitable, it's got a great sales rank, but I'm restricted from selling that item. Well, a lot of people see that as a dead end, but here's the deal. Restrictions are not a dead end. Restrictions are just a speed bump. There is a next step and it's to get approved and go through the approval process to have Amazon allow you to sell that particular brand, that particular category, that particular subcategory, that particular ASIN. There are a lot of different types of restrictions, but there are ways through those restrictions and steps that you can use to get approved. And here's the deal. You can do that right in the Scoutify app. And so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to do a screen record of my smartphone showing you how I get approved to sell items on Amazon using the Scoutify app. I just pulled up this particular toy and then you see, can see that there's a restrictions button that pops up. I can click the restrictions button and see I am allowed to sell it in in no conditions. Every, con every type of condition uh, I'm restricted to sell. I can scroll through and see so I need to see what I can do to get approved. So to get approved straight from Scoutify, I can click on the research button. I can scroll down and click Amazon restrictions. That will open up a Seller Central page with the add a product page with the ASIN of that particular item already pre-filled. I can just zoom in, click on listing limitations apply, request approval, opens up a brand new window and it says that I'm trying to get Approve for KidCraft brand, so I'll request approval. And it says that my application process has been approved and I can now start selling these items. So now I can even just go right back to Scoutify again. I refreshed my screen and now I will check the restrictions and now it says I'm allowed to sell it in new, collectible like new, collectible very good, collectible good, and collectible acceptable. And so I'm approved to sell this item. I'm restricted in these used and refurbished simply because the toy category does not sell items in used or refurbished. All right, so that's it. That's how simple it is to get approved to sell items through the Scoutify app. It's awesome. When I'm outsourcing inventory with retail arbitrage, I can just click, click a few buttons on the app, go through the application process, and most of the time get approved. Now here's the deal. Is this a 100% guaranteed strategy? No, there's gonna be times where Amazon will ask you for wholesale invoices or a letter from the manufacturer or a whole bunch of other different things. But here's the thing is that I want you to remember. If you do not get instantly approved to sell that brand or whatever you're getting approved to sell, put a reminder on your phone, three to six months in the future to go through and try it again. Because this is the truth behind getting approved for restricted brands. The longer you sell on Amazon, the longer you show Amazon that you are a good seller, that you are dependable, you're trustworthy, you don't have a lot of negative feedback, you don't have a lot of items that are being sold as, as new but they're actually used, you are a good seller. The longer Amazon sees you being a good seller, the more brands and more items on Amazon are gonna open up to you. So set that alarm three months from now. Try it to get approved again and more uh, likely than not, you're going to get approved. Now, it's a process that requires patience, but the really cool thing is, again, with the Scoutify app, you can do it right there inside the app, and it's pretty quick and painless. So, if you're interested in using Scoutify, Scoutify comes bundled with Inventory Lab. So, you get Inventory Lab and Scoutify all at a one monthly low rate. You can go to fulltimefba.com forward slash inventory lab to get a free month and to get more information. But I love both Inventory Lab and Scoutify. I use them both on a daily basis. I use Scoutify when I'm doing retail arbitrage, finding profitable items to sell on Amazon. And other and, and there are incredible other tools that you can use with Scoutify other than just the approval process uh, through Scoutify. I mean, it gives you access to Camel, 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 and Keepa, and uh, other tools that you can use to make smarter sourcing decisions. But Inventory Lab is also awesome because Inventory Lab is an all-in-one inventory processing listing. Uh, it, it keeps all your numbers. You know your profits. You know your sales. You know your profitability. You know which categories you're making the most money in, which stores you're making the most money in, so you can make smarter business decisions. Uh, and it has re reports at the end of the year that you can submit to the IRS. Man, 
awesome stuff with Inventory Lab and Scoutify. Again, more information about that, fulltimefba.com forward slash Inventory Lab. Well, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you showing up for these videos. I have more of them in the future, so be sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any new and upcoming free video trainings. And as always, come join us on the blog, fulltimefba.com. Subscribe, get some free PDF downloads, and be uh, all up to date with new tips and tricks, videos, uh, tutorials, things that I do myself to turn part-time hours into a full-time income with Amazon. Again, fulltimefba.com is where it's at. I'll see you there. Have a great day.